All right. I have a question for Flat Earthers. <clears throat> if the Earth looks like the map that you guys use, then, or if it's a plate or whatever, how does it make sense that England, which is right, right here, the United Kingdom, London, Ireland, all that crap, Norway, France, Spain, would sail or fly all their crap west and show up in New York, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, Labrador, St. John's, see how that works, New England, right, all the New England states are right there, they flew or sailed or whatever west to get there, okay, Titanic was actually in this area right here when it sank, okay, and then it just left. Uh, Europe, which, there you go, bam, Ireland, Scotland, England, yada, yada, yada. So it's out here in the frozen ocean and hits icebergs and sinks. If the map works the way that you say that it does, though, um, there'd be a wall somewhere off over there somewhere, and there would only be one direction everybody could go to get to the west, right? So why... Then, does China and Japan not have to ship all their crap to the U.S. west? Okay? Because they'd have to fly over all this crap or, and then ship it from there to, you know, New England. And then it would have to go from there across the U.S. Because there'd be a great wall on their right side. So why is it that when they send us stuff that Japan and China and South Korea and all, they send all their cars and Malaysia sends all its hot wheel cars all the way east to California, to California shipping ports. I mean, San Francisco, San Jose. Santa Rosa, you know, all these different shipping ports up there that, I mean, there, there's L.A. right there. So, why, why? How does that work? And, you know, Japan would have wasted a lot of time flying to Honolulu to bomb it, which is actually on the globe map in between the U.S. and Japan. So why would they go to Honolulu that direction and then haul tail back when they would have, according to you, had to fly over the entirety of Eastern and Western Europe, part of the Middle East, and then they would have bombed us in New York or something. And then when they left, all these weather balloons with bombs, they floated east to Oregon, California, Calgary, Montana, and Washington. Huh. So how does that, why, why? How does that even work? If this was laid out flat, as a map with walls surrounding the edges. How does that work? <laughs>